Welcome to the heel tool here in Lightroom where you can remove sensor dust spots and attempt to take unwanted items out of a photograph. We have a few modes here to look at. We have the clone tool, which will clone an identical source over the object you want removed. A heel tool, which is similar, but it will make AI adjustments for color and tone. And then we have a content aware tool, which will generate new pixels to attempt and patch your image. Under that, we have some sliders for size. Just change the size of your brush. Feather, change the feather of your brush and opacity, how translucent the overlay will be. Let's take a look at a few real world scenarios here. So one of the things we'll want to use this for is removing sensor dust spots. And there's a couple ways to find those. You can come down here and select visualize spots, which will give you a black and white high contrast view of the photograph, or you can tab the A key to do the same. There is a slider from lower to higher contrast. And if we go all the way up, we can see four dust spots here that I could not see with the naked eye. For this, I'm going to use the clone tool, resize my brush either with the slider or the mouse wheel, and we're just going to clone these dust spots out. Tab A again, and we can press the H key to hide the interface and see here that it did a pretty good job. So that's the A key to bring up the Visualize Spots tool and the H key to turn on and off your interface. Moving on to another image, we have some road signs here that I would like to remove. Now we can either resize the brush to cover the whole area and click over what we would like to repair. It took a sample there, press the H key to hide the interface and that looks pretty good. You can also, with a smaller brush, hold down and brush over the area you would like to repair. Let's tab the H key again. And it did pretty good, but it is not lining up perfectly. So we can click and drag around the area we're trying to heal. You can do the same thing with the sample area. You can also use the arrow keys to nudge. And that does not look like it did a very good job here. We have this weird break in the horizon. So there is a refresh button, which will attempt to take a new sample. And you can use that as many times as you would like. And let's try this one here. Nudge it into place. And that to me looks a lot better. So that was with the heel tool. Let's take a look at another image here. Now I would like to remove these branches in the top right corner. I feel like the other ones kind of frame in the subject, but these are a distraction. For this, we're going to use the content aware. So I'm gonna draw out a fairly big brush here and paint in that area. And we can see it attempted to heal the image here but it didn't do the best job because it's taking samples from the whole image and it brought in some of those brushes. But we can actually change where it takes its source material from by holding the control key and drawing out a part of the image that we would like to take a sample from for healing our spot. And there we go, much better. Actually still see a little branch here We'll just clone that out. And now we'll work on our top branch. And this time it did pretty good. I see, missed a little piece here. Clone that out as well. So there we go. That was with the content aware and remove. On to our next image. So now here we have a power line. It's pretty straight. And we can actually restrict this tool into moving on a perfect horizontal or vertical line by holding the shift key and dragging it out. And then we can nudge it up or down until we have a good repair. And we can also hold the shift key, click on one end of a line, go to the other end and click on it and it will connect the dots. And that is good for removing diagonal lines. That is pretty much it for the heel tool. 
here in Lightroom, very useful for removing unwanted objects.